Hello and welcome to Coveo Bite Size Learnings. Today we are talking about setting up query pipelines and invoking them using conditions. Coveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. As you can see, I've already logged into my Coveo Cloud v2 console at platform.cloud.coveo.com and I've gone into the Query Pipelines panel. I've got a handful of pipelines already created, including my default pipeline, my machine learning test, which is an A-B test against the default pipeline, and a couple of other experiments. The one that's most important for today is our agent search pipeline. You can see it has a condition associated with it. Search hub is agent search page. This means that whenever a query comes in, Coveo checks the search hub settings and invokes this pipeline if the proper setting is in place. Let's go ahead and see how that works by looking at my search pages. These pages are hosted within the Coveo Cloud infrastructure, but the same concepts apply regardless of where you're hosting your search pages. If I double click on the agent page, then go into the UI settings menu via the gear near the top left of the screen and choose analytics, I can see this page does indeed have its search hub value set to agent search page. If I cancel out of that and go into my customer search page and do the same operation, we can see that it also has a search hub value set to customer search page. However, there is no pipeline associated with that hub. So it's going to the default, which due to the A-B test with my experimental machine learning pipeline is not currently returning results. I want to fix that. And the first step along the way will be to create a new condition that I can use. Going into the conditions panel, I can see my existing condition there and I can create a new one by clicking Add Condition. A condition is just a standalone decision-making branch which can be used in order to invoke a pipeline or a pipeline feature. Here, you can see that there are quite a few variables we can choose as our decision-making pivot point. I'm going to go ahead and choose Search Hub and set it to our customer search page value. Now that it's saved, I'm ready to apply it. As an aside, I'm a big fan of our user notes feature, which allows you to document your work. If you take the time to document your work in this way, people will thank you in the future. So let's get back to our pipelines. It's easy enough to create a new blank pipeline by clicking add pipeline, assigning a name and a note and saving your work. However, this will create a pipeline without any features configured. While you might want this in some contexts, what I want to do here is copy my support agent pipeline and just make one change to make it more customer centric. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my blank pipeline. And instead, I'm going to select my agent search pipeline. And from the more drop down menu, I'll choose the option to duplicate it. Once I've made my copy, I'll select it choose more and edit and set an appropriate name and note. Then if I double click to edit the pipelines components, I can see that the features from the original pipeline, including two machine learning models are already in place and active. Now we'll associate it with our new condition by going back to the pipelines list, clicking our new pipeline, then choosing more and select condition and selecting our new condition from the list and saving. We can validate this by going to our search pages and clicking on the customer search page and voila, we have search results now. Now I can go ahead and add in that change I wanted to make in order to tailor this pipeline for our customer audience. In the real world, there may be many such changes, but for my example, I just want to make it so that when someone searches for contact support, instead of getting back any pages or documentation, which might include that phrase, I want to take them right to our support page. To do that, I'll go to our triggers and add a rule. I'll choose the redirect rule and specify our support page URL as the destination. Now you'll note that there are no conditions set here. To ensure that the rule is invoked when we want and only when we want, we need to have a condition. So just like with the pipeline, we'll go to the more drop down and 
choose Select a Condition. Since we don't see the condition we want, we could either click Manage Conditions to go to the Conditions panel, or we can click Add Condition and do it in line here. We'll choose to base our condition on the query being set to Contact Support, and then we'll select and save. Going back to our search page to test our work, we can search for contact support and voila, we land at the Coveo support community page just as we'd hoped. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel in order to learn more about keeping your business relevant. For more in-depth training courses, please visit www.coveo.com training.